Hello, and welcome to week two of our agency series. Today, we are going to talk about how to have a successful agency meeting. Welcome back, Theo and Fosse. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank so you. glad to be here with you. Fun. Awesome. So today, of course, we're going to talk about agency meetings. And a lot of actors, once they get your attention and they're like, yeah, yeah, I have a meeting, what the heck is going to happen during this meeting, right? We have no idea what happens next. So uh, there are a couple questions I want to ask you around that. Sure. Um, first of all, is there anything an actor should send to you before the meeting, in advance of the meeting? Is there anything you want to have? We schedule the meet. If we schedule the meeting with you, we already have the information that we need. We don't need anything additional. Don't oversell us. Well, I think with me, um, in order to get the meeting set up, what they should have is oh. send me for theatrical. Send me the link to your actors' access profile. Mm -hmm. um, and because a lot of actors don't realize actors' access to them, which so many of them um, neglect because they can't get a bunch of the opportunities that they want to get on Actors Access directly, a lot of them neglect their Actors Access profile when actually for theatrical, it's the breakdowns. Right. It's where you're going to get everything that's film and TV All oriented. Together. You know, and so a lot of people will focus more on LA casting mm -hmm. when from a agent's perspective, LA casting is way more of a commercial website. It's not right. film and TV. So I always ask for the links to their LA casting profile and their Actors Access profile mm -hmm. if we're you know looking at them for both departments. Um, and because it should always have a reel on it, right. you know, I want to have these things. But like he said, if we're calling you in for a meeting, we, we know we want to sign you at that point. In a, it, sorry, in addition to that, make sure that your credits on your resume reflect the credits on IMDb and that they that they don't conflict one another. Okay. Cause then it's, been, you know, we don't want to have red flags about, well, are you being honest or not? Oh, you know, I see. In terms yeah. of like them having more on their resume than is on IMDb. Like right. where these well, come from? Or? Well, that can happen, yeah. but sometimes it's like you can tell things have been embellished. Okay. Yeah, see. Or uh, um, I see. overly. I was a guest star on uh, Scandal. Uh, yeah, no, like, I was a guest star like on America's extra. Court. Right. There's, there's no guest star on a court TV show. You were. <laughs> A plaintiff or a defendant, <laughs> and probably phony at that. So there's no guest star on, you know, right, my crazy roommate. Just there's no, you know, on yes, some, yes, yes. Okay. you know, reenactment show or something like that. So you know, right. um, it's, it's, and I'm not saying anything against those type of shows. Of course, it's all work, and, yeah. and do what you got to do to get your work, but don't, you know, um, try to make those things into what sure. you're not. Just be honest with. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Just be as honest. you represent yourself. Everybody starts with no credits. We all got to start somewhere. So right, you know, we we respect that. You know. Cool. So, what should they have during the meeting? What should they have with them? I'd like to see the headshots printed out that they're that they're actually taking into auditions to right. see which different ones that they have. Mm -hmm. um, you got to make sure, of course, what they're bringing into the room is who they look like. Right. You know, and um, really, that's it. Just a good attitude. Um, be on time. I like to really put people at ease because I want to talk to them, and I really want to know. I want to know what you really like. I don't want to know what you want me to think you're like. I want to know what you really like because right. at some point we're going to get in the trenches together. Yeah. And, you know, we should, we should, at the first time that we sit down and we have a meeting, that should be building our foundation of what our relationship is going to be like. Right. Yeah. We don't want to meet the actor you. We want to meet the real you. Cool. One of the things I brought when I met with you, what was that, a year and a half ago or something, was a list of people who I built relationships with in the industry. Did you yeah. find that helpful? Is that something you like to see or? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, that was a good point. That's that's phenomenal. We normally, I normally don't um, ask actors to bring it to the meeting, but when an actor comes to a meeting, they have all those kind of things. It really, it's it's exciting to us mm -hmm. because it's like, hey, they they've done all their work. Right. You know, some actors will even make charts of how many auditions they get versus how many callbacks versus how many bookings. Right. You know, when actors do all of that kind of stuff, it's exciting for us right. because it's like, hey, you are really in tune to what you're doing. And, and your brand right. and building right. your brand is and, and it just makes it easier for us to work with and, and more it's it's an incentive yeah. for us to win because it's like yo you did all of this all I gotta do is just pull off this right. list right. you know right. so it's great that is and, awesome and, and forget the talent agent title we're sales people you know so the easier you make it for us to sell uh, the more excited we are about trying to sell you absolutely right. you know I mean? yeah Cool. Is there anything an actor can say or do during a meeting that would make you not want to rep them? So we understand that going in, you're like, yes, this is a yes. We think this is a yes, right? right? <laughs> can, can an actor mess that up during the meeting? 
Has that ever happened? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Um, some actors like to blame everybody else. Yes. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I, I could have booked that, but my agent didn't follow up after. Dude, you went in an audition, right? right. Yeah, okay, so why does the, what, is the agent got you the job, right? The audition? Yes. Okay, we can't get you the job after that part. Right. Once you go in there, we, we can't change what you did in the room. But, I mean, there's some people that will blame other people. Mm -hmm. There's people that will sit right there and tell you how they uh, kind of shut themselves out of offices. Right. Things like that. Um, some people just, you know, you make them comfortable and they'll really let you have it. They'll, <laughs> you know, but um, for the most part, if you, if you have a really bad attitude or... I, there's a difference between confidence right. and, and over cocky. If you're entitled, you know, mm -hmm. and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Nobody, you know, this acting thing, um, nobody asked you to do it. Right. You decided you wanted to become an actor. So the the sacrifices that you have to make and the investments you have to make is on you. Right. And, you know, it's nobody else's. I, I'm not going to uh, make an actor. I sell the actor. Right. You know that that comes to us, so right. yeah. you know there's there's some red flags that'll go up during a conversation. And, and we have turned actors away from all levels because they come in with this entitlement. Oh, I've done this, and I, you should take me because I was with this bigger man, whatever. You know what I mean? It's like we don't care about that. We want we want the now. I don't right. care what you did what ten you years did ago. Right. You know what's relevant to us now. Cool. Yeah. Good to know. Well, there are lots of actionable steps in there of like how to prepare for the meeting. So mm -hmm. that's great. Next week, we're going to be talking about how to maintain a great relationship with your agent once you have it. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss that. And again, please make sure that you uh, watch last week's video, if you haven't already, on what these guys are looking for and potential clients. We will see you next week. Bye.